Harris, uh, back in July, Jock talked about this as an experience that would kind of link all, all of you guys just for having gone through it together with everything that was going on. Is that something he continued to emphasize while you guys were down there? And, and is that what it felt like? As far as, I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. Just as, as having, as far as having a very unique experience that would, you know, kind of bond you guys and link you guys just for going through all this together um, at this particular time. Yeah, for sure. I think it was definitely a bonding experience. Uh, I think if you ask anybody who was a part of this, you know, bubble experience, uh, I think they'll tell you the same thing. Um, you know, there's not really a lot to do, you know, down here except for, you know, be with your brothers. Um, I think we got a lot closer, and I think that showed on the court each and every time we went up there and fought. Greg? Uh, Karis, uh, you obviously had the lead dog role down here in the bubble, and uh, uh, but next season will be very different with KD and Kyrie coming back. And, you know, there's been all this talk about you possibly being the third star to go with them. What do you think you personally gained from this experience that will help you trying to fit in with them and, and what they need from you in the future? Yeah, well, obviously, this is my first time being in that role, um, you know, for this uh, extended amount of time. You know, I think my third year, um, I was in that role before I got hurt. Um, but obviously, there was kind of, you know, more players around. It was a more balanced attack. I think, you know, these past, you know, 12 games or so, I think I was the lead dog. Um, and I gained a lot of experience from that. You know, uh, the first couple of games, um, you know, even the scrimmage games, you know, I felt more comfortable, you know, in that role as the games went on. You know, I think in the regular games, it showed the same. And I think the playoffs, it was another step. Um, and I think with more games, you get more experience. But I think, you know, next year, um, with more people out there on the court, it'll be a lot easier for all of us. I think you kind of saw in the playoffs, um, they were kind of boxing one, double teaming, you know, triple teaming. Sometimes I feel like next year they won't be able to do that. Any, no one will be able to do that with the talent that we have on the court. Um, and I think that, you know, just playing in this environment definitely gave, you know, everyone who played in it a step up going into next year for sure. Brian? Hey, Karis. Um, you talked about the talent. That's obvious that you guys are going to have next year. Um, but there, there are going to be a lot of roster changes, obviously, between today and training camp. How much would having Jacques back help continuity on a team that's obviously going to go through a lot of changes in this offseason? Be huge. Be huge. I think if you ask anybody um, who was a part of, you know, JV's two games before the cutoff and then, you know, the whole experience here, I think they'll tell you that he's very deserving of the job. You know, he's done a great job down here uh, winning with less. Um, and I think everybody saw that, you know, he brought the group together. Uh, we fought each and every night. Um, and like I said, he, I think if you ask anybody, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, and we're really proud of the job that he did. Uh, proud of the job that we did as a group. But I think he led us each and every night. He led us each each practice. Um, and it was good to see for sure. Christian? Hey, Kairos, uh, you touched on it a little bit earlier. But obviously, you've got KD and Kyrie coming back uh, next season, we hope at least. You know, what does that or how does that change just everybody else's role on the floor when you've got two guys who are just such dominant scorers like that. And second, obviously, if you, it sounds like you're about to be the, the third star on this team. What other type or, or what type of player do you think uh, helps best, you know, or what type of player do you think you guys need to help push you guys towards championship contention? Is there like a specific makeup of player that you think you guys might have to try to go get? I think we have what we need, to be honest with you. Um, you know, obviously those guys are, are great players, both, you know, have, have championships, um, MVP caliber players, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, playing with those guys, of course, is going to be wide open next year. Um, and I think we're all going to be, you know, byproducts of, you know, them having a lot of attention on the court. Um, and I think the, the sooner that we figure out how to play with each other, the better it's going to be. Uh, but, you know, everyone has high basketball IQ, obviously, Katie and Kyrie, Spencer as well. Um, I, like I said, the, the more we play together and the quicker we play together, the more that, you know, we're going to mesh, the quicker we're going to mesh. And I think it's going to be a beautiful thing out there.